Hi, I'm Jim from iHealth, and I wanted to walk you through the setup instructions for your new iHealth Align meter. So the first thing I want to take you through is what comes in the box. You'll see when you open it up that you'll have the meter in its case. You'll have a couple batteries. You'll have lancets, a lancing device, and then extra cases in case your mood varies and you want to try a different color. To insert the battery, it's very simple. I just peel off the protective case. And I look for the slot on the back of the meter, and that's the point where I want to leverage and pull forward. And I just pull it up, and you see the back just opens right up like that. There's space for the battery, so I'll pick up the battery, and I insert it into the double slot, and I push down on the single slot there. Once that's in, I can cover it back up, and again, very simple. I take the pointy end of the back, and I insert that first, and I just click back the back and snap it into place, and now I'm ready to go. So once the battery is installed, the next thing you want to do is download the app. Our product comes with a free app that you can get at the App Store or at Google Play. It's called the Glucose Smart. And uh, you can see I already have it loaded on my phone. I'm going to go ahead and open up that app. And once the app is opened, I will insert the meter into the phone jack on the bottom of the phone. When I insert the meter the first time, it's going to ask me if it has permission to use the microphone. Say yes, and that's just a way of the app getting permission from the phone to go ahead and use the phone jack to take a measurement. See now I've inserted the device into the phone jack, I've said yes, and it's telling me because of this little blue light on the left that it's ready to go. So the next step is to insert a strip. Before I insert a strip for the first time from a new vial, these are iHealth test strips, I need to scan the test strip, and when I scan the bottle using this QR code at the top, it will allow the app to track the number of strips that you have and the expiration date. So to do that, on the app you'll see a little bar that says scan. I'll hit scan, and then it'll open up an automatic QR code reader. I'll hold that over this and just let it scan directly, and once it does that, it's ready to go. So once the meter is ready to go, and I've scanned the test strip vial, I go ahead and extract one of the test strips, being careful not to touch the reading end, and I insert the strip into this little slot on the back of the meter, just like this, press it in firmly, and I'm ready to go. And I know that I'm ready because there is a little indicator light that says test strip is inserted correctly. Now it's time to draw some blood. The kit comes with a lancing device, which is very simple to use. It allows you to adjust the depth and pressure from one to five, uh, one being the lightest, five being the deepest. I'm going to go ahead and set this to three, and I simply twist the top until I see the three show up in the little window. And then I pull off the top of the lancing device, and I insert a lancet. I push it down firmly, and I twist off the protective top, exposing the needle, and then I replace the cap. Once the needle is inserted, I go ahead and load the device by simply twisting the bottom. You'll hear it click, and you'll see this little button eject out, and it's ready to go. Once I get my blood drop in position, so now I'm ready to take a reading. I go ahead and just touch the tip of the test strip to the drop of blood, and in, within seconds, my reading displays on the phone directly. And once you have your reading on the phone, you see here, I can tag it with additional information, including whether it's pre or post meal, whether I've taken insulin, uh, whether it's been fasting, as well as additional notes here. And then I just hit save, and this automatically gets loaded into my logbook. Uh, and from the logbook, I can look at trends over time, as well as statistics. And importantly, everything that goes to the mobile phone is also sent to the cloud automatically. So I can uh, log in online with a computer and see all of my information and my trends. And very importantly, I can also share that information with caregivers or loved ones or medical professionals. So all of my information is automatically stored on the phone and on the cloud. Now that I've finished my reading, I'm all set. I just pull the meter out. I remove the test strip and dispose of that properly, and I put it back in the case, and in this case, I'm going to use a pink case because I'm feeling in a pink mood. I can drop this in my pocket, and I'm ready to take my next test. Thanks very much for listening to me, and certainly if you have any questions, feel free to contact support at iHealthLabs.com with additional questions and comments. Thank you very much.